Rima. And now, what are the charts telling us and how can you position yourself in the last hour of trade on a day when the Nifty touches its lowest point in 2015 and goes below the psychologically important 8,000 mark? Sudarshan Sukhani joined us, joins us. Sir. Sudarshan, thank you very much. Uh, well, you warned, I must say, that uh, uh, this could happen. Uh, what's the sense now at uh, uh, below the 8,000 level? Would it be bold to take fresh short positions and go home with them? Yeah, good afternoon. I think it's wise to take short positions in the Nifty. Uh, it's not a day trade and it's not a one day trade. We are looking at a view and the view is that 8000 is cracking, a significant bearish pattern is getting confirmed and lower levels are coming. It's more of a positional trade and certainly for a positional trade you carry the trade home. Actually, I think you also carry it into July. Okay. Uh, anything on the bank nifty? I'm sure there are shorts there. Oh yeah, the bank nifty is a short sale and so are most PSU banks. Uh, also unfortunately is ICICI bank a short sale now. Uh, the, there is a stop loss for the nifty and that stop should be applicable for most short positions we take. And that's 8200. Mm -hmm. So while the nifty is below 8200, a 100 point up and down should not worry us. Mm. Uh, if 8200 is the stop loss for the Nifty, what would it be for the bank Nifty where you say short uh, opportunities exist? Well, the Nifty is going to be the stop for the bank Nifty, okay. which means if the Nifty crosses 8200, all bets are off. All right. Let me come to the stocks that you have picked up and let me go to the mid-cap space actually. All three cells, Sudarshan, uh, that ties in with your view on the Nifty as well. Uh, shall we begin with Arvind? Yeah, we can begin with the 100 stocks for selling today. <laughs> but uh, Arvind is, a, I, we've chosen Arvind because it's been a consistent underperformer. After that immense bull market, the stock distributed, it's been coming in our short, list, uh, short selling list, the trading range, breakdown, trading range, breakdown. It's, it's heading for a major bear phase. Okay, uh, that's, that's more serious than what we're seeing in the markets in general. What about CESC? Not so bad? No, uh, equally bad. CSC has already fallen 40-45% from its lofty highs mm -hmm. and it's now breaking a large support zone. So uh, the sense is that much lower levels are coming here. This, uh, it's my uh, opinion, uh, while the Nifty will fall, mm -hmm. assuming it does fall, uh, it will be a small percentage. Even if it comes from 8,000 to 7,000, it's about 12%. But the mid-caps will go crashing. Mm -hmm. But you're really expecting that much, 7,000? I would, uh, that's a pattern target. The market will do what it will do, but we are working on that assumption. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, Grasim is the last stock that you want to speak about. Yeah, and uh, Grasim has again been, uh, it's not a mid cap in the sense, it's a very nice, uh, well appreciated share, but it's been falling consistently. Uh, it's, it's doing something very different from the other A Birla uh, companies. It's, uh, don't know, it's a short sell, it's a positional short. All right. Uh, well, uh, we'll come back to you, of course, before close of trade for more strategies. Uh